Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Big Mike and this is BZ Cooks. So hey, we're continuing our quarantine cuisine series. And I just got to ask you a question. Do you like waffles? You. Do you like waffles? Are you tired of these waffles? Hell, are you tired of these waffles? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make your own waffles from scratch. I swear to God, you ain't gonna never go back to eating these. <laughs> Guaranteed. Let's get to the cook. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's get started. As I stated before, these are gonna be some homemade waffles. Today, I'm gonna to show you a waffle that you can make on your own with the ingredients in your home, and you will never go back to eat a waffle anywhere else. As a matter of fact, you're gonna to brag to your friends and family about these waffles you're making. So let's get into the ingredients, okay? So first off, we're gonna start with three eggs. Now we're gonna separate these eggs. I'll show you that later, all right? We have half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. Okay, this is baking powder. We've got a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. We've got a fourth cup of brown sugar. We have two cups of all-purpose flour, okay? All-purpose flour. We've got some vanilla extract, and we have buttermilk. Now, if you do not have buttermilk, if you have regular milk, just pour a cup of milk, and if you have some vinegar, pour one tablespoon of vinegar into your milk. Just pour that into your milk, it'll curdle up, and voila, you got buttermilk, okay? So if you don't have buttermilk, no problem, you can make your own, all right? So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make these waffles right in front of your eyes. And I'm gonna eat them in front of you too. You know how I do, for science. <laughs> so let's get right into the good guys. See you in a minute. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is add our dry ingredients, okay? So we're gonna take our flour. This is our two cups of flour. We're gonna add that in here. This is our baking soda. Add that. This is our baking powder. I'm gonna add that. This is our salt. We have our brown sugar, and that, and our cinnamon. Now you guys know I always forget to add some ingredient or something because I forgot I used to forget. So we're gonna use this butter, okay? I'll tell you how we're gonna use it in a minute, but you need gonna need one stick of butter, okay? All right, now with your whisk, you're gonna take this and you're gonna combine it. All right, just whisk it together really good. And once we do this, then we're gonna do our wet ingredients. Okay, so now we wanna separate the egg yolks from the egg whites in our eggs, okay? So to do that, it's gonna take an egg Break it there. And you're just gonna shuffle that yolk back and forth between the shells. And there you have it, all right? Okay, I got my butter in a small bowl. I'm gonna melt this down. I'm gonna melt this down because we're going to mix this into our wet ingredients. So, hold on, I'll be right back. All right, we got our butter melted down. So, in this bowl, we're gonna add our egg yolks. We're gonna add our buttermilk. We're gonna add our butter. So there's a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, let's whisk that together. Now we're gonna take this mixture here 
and we're going to pour it into our dry mixture. See that? Now let's mix this all together. So you're going to mix this thoroughly. Gonna mix that in really good. Okay, got all this mixed together, okay? Now what we want to do is take our egg whites. Hey, you can see that I got a little bit of the yolk in there. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Now, you want to beat these until they're stiff, okay? You don't want to overbeat them, but you just want to beat them until they're stiff. Got my little whisk here. Shout out to my boy AB over at Smoking and Grilling with AB. The king of the small whisk. <laughs> All right, that's about good. Okay, so got our egg whites stiffened up a little bit. Now what you want to do is you want to fold this into your batter, okay? Watch how I do this, okay? Don't stir it in. You want to fold this in. See how I'm doing that? Fold it in there. See how that's coming together? Y'all are gonna eat these waffles and say, Big Mike, thank you so much for showing me how to make these waffles, man, because this is the business. And then look, I'm gonna show you another little twist if you don't already know about your syrup. Treat yourself, do not cheat yourself. So our batter is ready. Let me show you how to make this syrup. All right, look, so I've got about maybe a tablespoon of butter in here. This is just some regular log cabin syrup. Take some of this syrup. Put it in this bowl with that butter. Pop it in the microwave for about 45 seconds. Sit tight. But you see this right here? This butter and this syrup. So you know how you put butter on pancakes? No need. Everything is right here. I guarantee you put this on them waffles, man. And this is some next level stuff. All right, let's make some waffles. All right, so here's my setup. I got my waffle maker here and my batter. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna grease your waffle iron. Now you can use butter or you can use um, some cooking spray. I've got some Pam here. So we're gonna spray our waffle iron down. All right. Then you want to take your ladle, sit it smack dab in the middle there. Put a little bit more. All right. All right, we're gonna close it. Now, I have this set on light. When it's on medium, it tends to overcook it, but because I like my waffles light skin. I don't know how you like your waffles. I like mine's light skin. So if you don't like your waffles light skin, you like dark skin, let it cook a little bit longer. I'll show you how it looks in a minute. Oh yeah. Just how I like my waffles. That comes right up out of there. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna keep making these until the batter is gone. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. That's how you make these. If you don't have a waffle iron, they're not expensive. Go out and get you one or Next time I have to make a pancake recipe so you can see how to make pancakes. <laughs>
If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe, comment, share the video with all your family and friends. And until the next video, guys, this is Big Mike saying peace out. Stay safe out there and stay home. You hear me? Stay home. Peace.